If there's something which Below Deck Mediterranean has taught us so far, it's that drama is not uncommon, even in the most luxurious of superyachts. Besides the usual stress entailed by working in the demanding business, the crew of these yachts are faced with many personal challenges while trying to keep their professionalism at the highest level. Even though the concept of Below Deck Mediterranean isn't that different from other reality TV shows, the fact that the series has been on for several seasons proves that there is never enough on-sea drama. That being said, certain cast members such as Hannah Ferrier have gained lots of popularity as well, even though sometimes for negative reasons. So what happened to Hannah? Why was she fired from the show? And what is she doing now? Keep with us to know all about our favorite TV chief stewardess. Hannah Farrier's firing from Below Deck Mediterranean in the fifth season really caught us all by surprise. It wasn't only the fact of knowing Hannah as one of the most beloved characters in the series that made her exit dumbfounding, but also the whole scandal surrounding it. Without unfortunate incident now in the past, more career opportunities opened for Hannah. Besides founding her own training academy, Ocean International, she's also in a new chapter of her life with The Real Love Boat, set to air in late 2022. Just as expected, this new show will see Hannah back on board a luxury yacht, but instead of being in charge of the crew, her job in The Real Love Boat is to help its passengers to find love and their perfect match while traveling over the sea, as she explained on Instagram. While the show's concept might not sound familiar for new generations, this new series is actually a revival of the 1970s drama The Love Boat, starring Gavin McCloud. However, unlike the original, this sort of spin-off is a reality competition, which should challenge everyone involved with it in their search for love. Despite how different The Real Love Boat is compared to her old job, it's great to see Hannah on TV again. So why was Hannah Farrier fired from Below Deck Mediterranean, which was messy to say the least? It all occurred in the fifth season, when viewers saw Captain Sandy Yawn receiving a message which read, I'm sorry, but I have to report this, accompanied by a pic of someone's medication and other articles which hinted at drug taking, all of it embroidered with Hannah's initials. Taking the issues in her hands, Captain Sandy went through the procedures and the protocol to fire Hannah for allegedly bringing undeclared drugs on board. In a later interview, the captain declared that there were other reasons leading to Hannah's sacking from the boat. I don't trust her as a crew member on board at all, and that's why I fired her. I'm a captain, and she waits tables. There's no equal there professionally. While it wasn't openly said on screen who sent the pics, the strongest suspect is Malia White, which Hannah later confirmed through Twitter, praising her former roommate's arranging skills. Furthermore, Hannah openly identified the article seen in the original pic as her anxiety medication, consisting of Valium and legal cannabidiol oil along with a prescription in her name. Needless to say, Hannah Ferrier's exit from Below Deck Mediterranean caused mixed reactions with the audience, split between those who supported her and those who thought Captain Sandy's decision was right. For her part, Hannah stated that she was deliberately painted in a negative way, given that her anxiety diagnosis was known by the crew throughout the five seasons she was in the show. Even a couple of days prior to her termination, the audience saw her having a panic attack, which prompted her to ask Malia White for help, making it apparent that her then roommate knew about her medication. It wasn't like I was trying to be sneaky or anything like that. Nobody has ever declared medication when they've gotten on a boat, she told Peninsula Living. Furthermore, Hannah strongly disapproved of this stigma regarding her situation and its portrayal on screen. Anxiety medication is for a mental illness, so it shouldn't be painted like, you're a drug addict smuggling drugs on board. However, while the scandal affected Hannah, she declared that it led to something positive, as lots of people suffering from similar conditions openly supported her. The actual awareness and help that it gave people, I think was more important than the hurt that I felt. As people might expect, Hannah Ferrier is obviously not on good terms with some of her former co-workers in Below Deck Mediterranean, starting with Captain Sandy Yawn, who not only doesn't regret sacking Hannah off the boat, but has also shown her displeasure at the former chief stewardess. The part that I think really disturbs her is her ego. It's sad. I feel for her. This girl's still hanging on to that shit, she said, according to Metro. Apparently, Hannah doesn't hold her former captain in high regard either as she affirmed to the podcast Kyle and Jackie O Show that they weren't friendly at all during the years they worked together. For her part, 
Malia White admitted to having some regrets about the way everything went down, but affirmed to do what she needed to do given her job as a bosun, she told US Weekly. Considering the terms of Hannah's exit, Captain Sandy's and Malia's statements aren't surprising, but not everything is bad news. The show's former star Aisha Scott said that she holds Hannah in high regard. She's such an amazing, beautiful friend to me, she told Decider, also revealing to receiving advice from her former co-worker for her new series, Below Deck Down Under. This proves that while Hannah's experience wasn't the best while working under Sandy Captain's command, she gained the support of many people in the process. Marriage is one of the many blessings which have come Hannah's way since her exit from the Below Deck franchise. In early 2022, she tied the knot with now husband Josh Roberts. Their private wedding was held in Sydney in a ceremony which celebrated Hannah's Australian heritage and her now husband's Scottish traditions. As reported by E! News, the ceremony was attended by the respective families of the couple, whose engagement was announced back in late 2020 after dating for two years. As Hannah said, their relationship advanced quite rapidly from their first meeting, passing from just drinking a glass of wine to seeing each other all the time. Apparently, Josh wasn't aware of Hannah's status as a reality star, but eventually knowing it changed nothing in his affections. The couple had actually delayed their wedding from a year before, as they were in the process of buying their own house. Also, as Hannah told Cheat Cheat in late 2021, waiting for COVID-19 restrictions to tone down was important in their books, as they wanted both their families to attend the wedding. Fortunately, everything turned out great for them on the day. In late October 2020, Hannah and her now husband Josh Roberts welcomed their first child, a daughter whom they named Ava Grace. The arrival of the new member of their family coming as the greatest news for the couple. She is already a little menace who has captured our hearts forever, as Hannah wrote on an Instagram post. Although motherhood is a challenge for anyone, Hannah affirmed that the countless years working in the hospitality business prepared her for this. I cannot see it being any harder or any more sleep depriving than a season of below deck med, she told The Daily Dish. Following the birth of their daughter, the growing family took it as a priority to buy their own house, prompting Hannah to appear in The Real Love Boat as a way to pay her property's mortgage. However, becoming a working mother caused a backlash to come her way, an issue she addressed on her Instagram page. I am so disappointed with the amount of DMs and comments shaming me for working, she said before advising people to get a grip. Regardless of the mixed opinions regarding her job choices, that fortunately hasn't been enough to shadow Hannah and Josh's excitement over parenthood. Since giving birth to her daughter Ava, Hannah Farrier has been dealing with losing weight to get back in form. However, her journey was an uphill road, particularly during the lockdown, due to her inability to go outside and also totally focusing on her baby. I was always reaching for my phone at 7 p.m. to order dinner in and always feeling like I deserved a treat after such a hard day. She admitted in an interview with Chi Chi prior to her wedding, Hannah partially achieved some of her weight loss goals, but took the biggest steps in her journey by joining Jenny Craig Maxed Up program, which apparently not only helped her, but also her now husband is accomplishing a healthy lifestyle. He's feeling so much better about himself and so much more comfortable in his own skin, she said a couple of weeks after starting the program. While her efforts to be a slimmer size are partially motivated by her return to TV, Hannah has also admitted to wanting to be comfortable in her own skin, as she has already accepted her post-pregnancy body. Sometimes blessings come in disguise, and that's fortunately the case with Hannah Ferrier. While her career took a big hit after being fired from Below Deck Mediterranean in early 2020, that was the push she needed to become professionally independent. That's why she established Ocean International Training Academy, a course for beginners in the yacht-specialized hospitality business, serving as a platform for students to land jobs in the industry. Hannah didn't found her company alone, though, as her former Below Deck Mediterranean co-star, Anastasia Sermava, is her business partner in this venture. Their courses have an affordable range of prices, but according to Hannah, what really sets her business apart from others is their honesty towards students, as she told Doc Walk. It's long hours, difficult guests, cramped quarters. People need to be aware of the reality of yachting before joining the industry. While starting a new company surely isn't easy, Hannah and Anastasia's love for their job in the industry kept it afloat even during the pandemic. While Hannah's career journey on TV hasn't been the easiest, she fortunately knows how to keep her feet on the ground, despite her fame. 
It's that tough skin type of attitude and openness which has built her an approachable image as a celebrity. As she told Super Yacht News, my messages were just completely flooded with people getting in touch with me, trying to figure out how they can get on the yachts and kickstart a career at sea. She commented, in regards to the idea of starting her training business after leaving the show. Given the huge fame of Below Deck as a franchise, it's unsurprising to see Hannah is widely followed on social media, accumulating over 800,000 followers on Instagram alone, which she actually considers a bit weird, but uses her platform to help other people interested in the yachting industry in pursuing their dreams. While not letting fame go to her head is an accomplishment in itself, and for anyone involved in the entertainment industry, Hannah's goals go beyond just not having celebrity friends, but to improve yachting as a more inclusive industry. I always say I feel the audience is like 20 years behind, like every other industry. That's kind of normal, so I'm hoping we're going to catch up really soon," she stated. Hannah Ferrier was undoubtedly one of the most popular Below Deck Mediterranean cast members. So letting her go meant facing a huge backlash from the audience, Captain Sandy and Malia White getting the worst of that. While that's an expected reaction considering the circumstances surrounding Hannah's departure, Sandy didn't let the criticism deter her and is still an active member of the show and affirming to never having hated her former subordinate. In the case of Malia, she eventually left in the seventh season to focus on an upcoming exam while the show was still filming. Though she affirmed her leave wasn't definite, it's unknown when or if her comeback is scheduled. All in all, Hannah's fans surely miss seeing her in Below Deck Mediterranean, but considering all the new and exciting career opportunities coming her way nowadays, as well as her apparent happy family life, it's evident that she really needed to leave that old chapter of her life behind. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.